My name is Kern, and I have been fortunate enough to been given a copy of Beat Station to put through the paces. And at first glance, maybe you were like me, thinking, well, I don't really need another MIDI player. I have Easy Drummer, Superior Drummer. But the beauty is in the content here. Um, I have it open as an RTAS right now in Pro Tools. When I'm done here, I'll go ahead and show you um, how to use this with the sampler as a virtual standalone. The beauty is, well first let me pull up some, uh, some MIDI out of the Tune Track section. Easy Player, Easy Player Libraries, Pop Rock, Groove One, we'll go with that one. And here's what we have. Now, say I'm going to use that loop for my verse and I want it to sound different for the chorus. With Beat Station, the beauty is in the layering. Here's my kick trigger. I'll open it up and as you can see there's places here for five samples that will be played at the same time. So in order to find a new sound, let's go to the kick and you can sample them. Say that's the one we want simply drag it over here and now you're going to hear it every time it plays. How cool is that? Well wait because it gets even better. When you highlight the one you wish to edit just a little bit further you have your window here for velocity and sustain and, and things. You have all kinds of volumes also, you have effects, choruses, compressors, delays, distortions, EQs, gates, all kinds of things, echoes, reverbs. Let's go ahead and put a warm concrete hall on there. You heard it, didn't you? Now you can increase the effects levels. You also have an overall drum master right there. This is really cool. You can change the pitch. You can change the pan. And then when you're done, You can take that loop and drop it in a new stereo track in Pro Tools. The beauty is I was able to come up with a custom kit in literally a minute and I'll show you what it sounds like. This is with a delay I think and maybe a compressor. All the percussion minus a rattler and a um, stick sample. Uh, was done with Beat Station, all the percussion. Of course, there's a bass and there's some horns in there from Reason, but and a guitar. But everything. Well, just let me show you. These are the Tune Track MIDI loops taken right from my hard drive, and I simply use Beat Station. Not bad for just a few minutes work and literally that's all it took to get that loop. Um, let me back off now and show you the uh, virtual plugin and the sample feature. I'm not sure why I can't get it to work in RTAS as a plugin in Pro Tools. I don't even know if it's possible uh, in the software. It's that new to me. But from playing around, I found that um, there's videos over at the TuneTrack website that will get you closer uh, in the, the minute details of, of working with BeatStation. Um, there's also one of uh, these guys that take the sampler here and found, use found sound to uh, really come up with some cool stuff. Now, there's nothing here. So what I'm going to do 
is open my sampler. Whoop. Let me get this so you all can see it. Um, let's go ahead and just record. Boom! Now I can take this. There's my start. Let me get this here. There's my sample. Boom! As easy as recording it, I've dropped it in here. Now you can see I have a pearl kick. Boom! Boom! And my boom! Uh, boom. boom! 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 That easy. It, it. I had a blast playing with this, adding effects, creating my own custom MIDI. The problem is. I'm having trouble saving it and using it in our test format. Uh, if you're at home writing and recording your own things, maybe you won't even need the R test. Maybe you want to stand alone if you're a DJ or clubbing and want to record on the fly and get it up and running to the crowd. You know, maybe it's a date specific thing or a comment someone made. If you're looking for a MIDI player, that you can completely customize. You can layer your pads, uh, use a sampler. Look, look no further. It's Beat Station from Tune Track. It's brand new. Uh, be honest, I'm having a blast with it. I wasn't sure that I would even use it in my daily routine, but I'll tell you, being able to take my favorite mini loops and edit them with effects so quickly and easily has shaved hours off my workflow. It's opened up my creativity. Uh, I'm dealing in venues that I, or genres that I, I really wouldn't have ventured to before, all from Beach, uh, Beat Station. And it's really, really fun. Uh, make sure you go over to the ToonTrack website, www.toontrack.com. They have a few other videos over there that's worth checking out. And remember, you saw it here first on the Home Recording Weekly blog. Uh, make sure you leave your comments for others to see. And subscribing now would be great. Thanks a lot.